What's popping? Well, I mean, I think you probably know what's up by now. <laughs> uh, yeah, I talked to Sly. Yeah, I spoke to Sly earlier. Um, he basically said that I should give you a call and have a chat with you. So that's why I did. Yeah. But you were on the phone for a while, so I just... Uh, yeah, I was talking to Perez, to basically. I was trying to get some breakthrough with the moonshine shit. Okay, cool, cool. Is the shit pain again? Uh, apparently, yeah, there's been some changes, basically. Um, we bought another house and people are, yeah, going ag agriculture right now with the R&D. Okay, cool, cool. Hell yeah. You have a house on your old street, basically. <laughs> I heard, I heard of the a brogue, one of the brogue houses. Yeah, yeah, we got that. Uh, we have, I think, uh, Reggie, uh, Billy, uh, um... A girl? I, I don't... Uh, yeah. It's not Atlas, but it's another girl name who's in with the company. Who's uh, including okay. that as well. So they're doing some farming and testing of trying to find the right genetics, you know, to get good shine. Apparently that pays shit again, so yeah. Gotcha. Alright, that's cool, man. Um, But yeah, uh, did you hear the rundown on sort of what transpired yesterday and just kind of want to get your feelings, your thoughts on it, etc.? Yeah, I heard... Um, some shit with Jan Jan. Um, she basically, she called me today as well. So you know that. Uh, she called okay. Kai as, Ka, yeah, Kao as well. Um, she called me. I haven't been fully filled in. So I was, I gotta be honest with you. I'm just Switzerland over here. Um, she told me what she said. And I said, well, that is a fucking low blow and a half. Should never be acceptable, you know. Um... Then again, I've just said, you know, if there's any medical bills, you know, when it comes to, uh, to getting shot, but just tell us and uh, and good luck, you know, with the future. Uh, I talked to Sly. He told me about that she was basically pushing your buttons. You shot her. Um, and you got shot down by RJ from Besties. Am I correct? Correct. Um, then Benji shot this guy from the Besties. Um, he did, he did, but it wasn't, the reaction wasn't quite that. <laughs> there was a lot of hesitation of shooting. How about, you know, and, instead of me, like, fucking, because every time you hear from fucking second people, it's like the most dark shit information, you know, like, not anything bad about people who are telling you, it's more about, mm -hmm. you don't get the full mm -hmm. detail before you talk to the people who were involved in this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So basically I'll give you a rundown on what actually happened. Um, yeah. and, uh, yeah. So basically everything was fine. I, I, I had taken some time in the Liberty city, so I was just kind of stretching my legs, getting caught up on everything that's been going on in the company. There were no, there was no issues. There was no drama. There was none of it. It was just like a regular day. Uh, I spoke to Breckers uh, when I woke up. He was in the house. He told me that um, I want to set up a meeting ASAP to kind of go over um, what people are doing within the company and potentially looking to fire um, a bunch of people that are just not contributing. Mm -hmm. I didn't bring any of that stuff up. He brought that up to me. Um, obviously that made me very happy because I have been feeling for quite some time that there are a handful of people that don't really do much for the company. Um, not saying that I don't enjoy their company or anything like that, but just from a fundamental standpoint, um, it was nice to hear it come from somebody else other than me, um, without me prompting the conversation. So I was actually in a pretty good mood, um, waking up and kind of starting my day and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And then um, I get a call from uh, Cal. Uh, Cal asked me if he, um, if I could get him some weed. And Jan also called me and asked if I could get her some weed. That was when I emailed you and yep. asked for uh, the code because they explained to me that there was a code now and they didn't have access to it. But I also did remember before I had gone to sleep for a few days or flew out of the city, I um, 
you, you it was either you or somebody in the house um, mentioned to me that you guys were planning on putting a lock on the weed. So I wasn't like stun locked or surprised by it because stuff yeah. was missing and it was adding up. Basically, so, what we did is uh, we put it on the spreadsheet. So it's kind of like um, all the people who can take weed from here, you know, is company people. So somebody is either forgetting or whatever, you know. So mm -hmm. uh, an easy way to do it is we change the code every day and we have the code on the spreadsheet. So you need to go to the spreadsheet to get the code to get into the weed equal. It reminds you of putting on, you know, the product you're taking. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that makes totally sense. Um, to total sense. Um, so when I emailed you, you're actually pretty quick to the draw and email me back, sent me the new spreadsheet, um, told me that the code was on the sheet. That's when I called up, um, cow and said, Hey, I'm going to go up there and grab some stuff. Um, I'm trying to, to recall exactly, uh, the exactly the next steps okay so then benji i didn't even know benji was awake he he shows up at the house um and basically he's like yo we're gonna go ocean dump somebody so oh, shit. i was like okay i'm coming um i'm coming so as we're going right i'm like yo benji like this is you know this this is not company protocol like we don't we don't ocean dump i was like it's literally in the the email chain and he's like, oh, what email? I, I never saw the email. It, it just kind of doing what Benji does, like kind of in a like a dismissive, like you you just know how he is, you know, like I, I, I didn't see it. You know, you know what I mean? Like and then I, I said, well, you know, it's <laughs> sounds like Benji. Gonna, exactly. So I'm like, you know, you know, ocean dumping. It's like we're, we're against that. Like, I know Mickey doesn't want it. Breckers doesn't want it. I don't want it. Um you know, all this stuff. So, but anyway, I'm, I'm going along with it. And, um, ter turns out it's some dipshit, um, that a guy named Penner or Pe Penny, or I think it's starts with a P Penner, maybe. Hey, Peter, um, Penner. Yeah. Peter, like ben Peter? Yeah. Benji's uh, assistant or some shit. Yeah. Um, so Peter, I guess got into an uh, altercation with, with somebody over 50 bucks and, uh, ended up murdering him. Um, oh, sure. So, yeah. So then, you know, end up ocean dumping him, um, which is whatever. Um, and then we head back to the house. Well, um, it's not we... whatever, though. Isn't it like in the protocol of the company, not to ocean dump anyone? So it doesn't matter. Like, it shouldn't matter who it is who's doing it. It's, it's, it's against company protocols. I'm very happy you said that, man. And I do appreciate you saying the obvious. And I'll, I'll circle Everybody back around to what you just said. No, no, no. And but like, it, it shouldn't matter who it is who's doing it. It should be a no-go if that is in the company policy. Thank you. Okay. So, I go back to the house. And <laughs> uh, Jan is there. And Jan said, uh, where's the weed? And I explained to her that, hey, you know, Yo, my bike, the coconut um, for 30. it had one of those things where it just leaks gas and, you you, you know, you, you're just out of gas. Um, at that point, I had just found out, too, from Z that there are actual gas cans now. So you can actually grab a gas can and kind of fill up in case, you know, that, that sort of shit happens. And, um, you know, I told, I explained to her that, um, you know, I'm on my way up. She was actually understanding about it like once i told her the reason why i hadn't kind of rushed up there because normally when i get her stuff which has been at least three to five times this i'm wait. always very sweet to her i always say yes ma'am uh Yo. no ma'am i'm very light-hearted with her um i don't know much about her but i've never it, it has it honestly i've never had a bad interaction with her ever i was like, warned about her not gonna lie you were what warned about her oh okay. um okay the way she speaks to me and the way she kind of like operates is kind of like out of pocket you know so mm -hmm. i was warned by like she she entered the room like she's the queen she talked to you like you are beneath her and um she does that to everybody um so i kind of like you know when i hear her talk it's going in and out basically i was warned about like she she, she operates a certain way you know so it's good to As know when I. you know yeah. how to handle, you know, people like that. 
Gotcha. Okay. See, I don't, I don't know her background, right? I didn't know. I don't know anything about her on that level. Um, I, I, I can put I it like this OTT. She came into the first meeting I had with her with a, with a guy who was a group six worker. She called this guy her kitten. All right. This guy had just oh. given her $200,000. She was driving a Comet car for that car. And she wow. believes that she can make every guy be that person, you know? She's kind of like, I don't know, like a maybe not a gold digger, but she believes that if she tells you to give her something, you should give her something. That she's entitled mm -hmm. to get that. But then again, okay. when you know you're dealing with people like that, you know how to brush it off as well. Okay. Well, that 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 also makes me feel a little bit better because I did call her entitled at one point. Um, and I can explain to you why. So when I told her that um you know, we're going to, we're going to go up there. She basically was like, well, why can't I just get the code for myself? Like it's easier. I can pretty much just go up there and grab the stuff. And I told her in, in a non aggressive way, I said, do you want me to give you the cold truth about it? Or do you want me to kind of beat around the bush? And she said, no, give it to me straight. I said, well, there are lots of people that have been in the company a lot longer than you have, and they don't even have access to the stash so like unfortunately and before i could even finish my sentence she basically said um it's because i'm a woman you're sexist and i was kind of stun locked and benji immediately and kudos to him and i appreciated it he immediately piped up and said whoa 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 no 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 there are multiple women or females that have access to that that mm -hmm. isn't that isn't it. I didn't at that point. I and I appreciated that. I didn't at that point talk shit about her. I didn't say, how fucking dare you? What the fuck? I didn't do any of that. I just let it go. So we went about our business. We went up north. Yeah, but she's a contractor. 320 something baggies of weed because that's that's all that was in there. Yeah, it was low I, last night, yo. Yeah. So she wanted 400 to 800 baggies. Benji told her, why don't you just get a little bit more than what you normally do or a lot more and then hold it. And she agreed. So we came up to go get her her stuff along with Cal. Um, since there wasn't that much, I wanted to give Jan more weed than Cal because Cal only needed weed to go do runs so that he can get his reputation up so that he can push and Sandy. Yeah. So I, I, when I got back to the house, I asked Cow to come inside. He came inside. I handed him the weed. I didn't want to do it in front of the house. Um, you know, in the public, there was a lot of people down there, a company and non-company. And um, I asked Cow to pull out a notepad. I then gave him your state ID. I then punched in the amount of weed that I was giving him. It it automatically updated, told me what I what he needed to pay. I gave him that number. And then I also gave him the code. Um, that he puts in the comment section when he sends you the money. Yeah. Everything was good. Transaction went as normal. Once he was done, I asked uh, Jan to come in the house to do the exact same thing. I said, okay, Jan, I'm actually going to give you more than I gave Cal because I know you wanted to make some money. And, you know, he, does, he doesn't need as much right now. So she was appreciative of it. I give her the weed. Everything is totally fine. Nothing is out of the norm at this point. And then... um. I asked her to pull out a notepad and I gave her the same information. I gave her your state ID. I told her how much it was. And as I'm giving her the price or as I gave her the price and I'm getting into the code, she pipes up and she says, I'm not paying that. I'm like, what do you mean you're not paying? I don't pay that much. Like I have something worked out with, uh, with RJ and I'm like, RJ, she's like, uh, I, I mean, I mean, KJ. I said, well, this is what the, the spreadsheet says this is what cow just paid and this is what everything just paid so then i pull out my own calculator and i put in the amount of baggies and i do times 18 and i realize that there was a price increase of mm -hmm. a dollar and she didn't want to pay the extra 200 so and then on the side i saw week 19 on the, on the side of it so i made the assumption that the price was changed to 19 for this week. I didn't know if prices were being changed. I went back to the previous week. It said 18. Yeah. So I made the assumption that for this week, 
the prices were going to be 19 bucks per. And then on top of that, when it updated automatically, it gave that price. And I'm trying to honor your wishes for the department and make sure that money isn't going missing, that everybody pays the same amount of stuff and that everybody knows what's up. So when I told her that like Cal paid this, you're going to pay this price. And she doubled down and she said, I'm not paying it. I can get weed for this or whatever. I said, okay, well then give me the weed back. How, how she much did she get weed for? I have no idea. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know if she meant from somebody else or if she meant from, from you and she gets it cheaper. And this no. actually isn't the first time in which she's mentioned to me about getting things cheaper. No, no. Um, she always wants to get it cheaper, but yeah, no, this yeah. is the cheapest oh. price in the city. Not going to lie to you. Like every, everybody else pays from 20 to $25 a baggie when they're buying every other turf. Wow. Yeah. Maybe certain individuals have cheaper price, you know, if they're like in the, in the circle or you know what I mean? Like they're, a part of it but everybody who outsourced to pay 20 to 25 uh even up to 30 some places as well yeah so anyway she starts bringing up um so so when she hands me the weed back mm -hmm. she basically says if i'm not going to get it for this then you're going to lose your hacker and i was <laughs> like what <laughs> so she's now giving an ultimatum if I don't get the weed for the price that I want to get the weed at, then you're going to lose your hacker. And she's bringing up the besties. And I'm like, then go with the besties. Go and fucking get weed from them then. Like, this is the price of the company. And she's doubling down more. Oh, you're going to lose your hacker. And I said, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. You don't get, you don't get to make these ultimatums. You don't get to fucking play this card and she's just giving me attitude now remember not too long before she called me sexist so already in the back of my mind right i'm starting to start i'm starting to feel a certain way about this i'm like man i've been so nice to her and she's just out of the blue giving me this all this attitude Sounds so like I Jen told, Jen. so i tell her to get the fuck out the house she leaves the house i go and put the weed away or whatever, I, I come back outside, she's yapping. She's complaining about me. She's talking shit. So I then go, what the fuck is your problem? Why are you so fucking entitled? You, you, what, what do you do? What, 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 did, what, did, like, I don't, I'm gonna be honest, KJ. I don't even, I don't even know she existed until a week ago. And now hmm. she's coming in acting like she fucking runs the show and she gets special treatment and she's yapping off. I'm yapping off right now. Benji's going, yo, OT, -T, o -T. I'm like, no, Benji, this is crazy, man. How is she going to talk to us like this? She's talking to a board member like this. She's, she's literally trying to scam out the company from, from stuff. And she's being entitled. I'm not fucking, st I'm not dealing. I'm, I'm not, that's not how this works. Like, I'm not going to be a fucking punching bag and being, and being spoken to like this, especially since I've been so nice to her. Th then she goes, you're a misogynist. I like, just out of the blue, bro. Just boom. Just here's a label. Boom. <laughs> oh. So after Benji already piped up and said something to her that, whoa, 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 whoa. That ain't it. And she did it in front of at least eight people all standing there. Nobody, nobody was like, actually, there were, I heard a couple people kind of go, whoa, right? And it started to yeah. fuel me up a little, fuel me even more. And I said, what the fuck did you just say? She said it again. You're a misogynist. So that word, I pulled, I pulled out my gun and I shot her right then and there. So that was, there was four times she alluded that I hate women or I don't like women. When I have been, when I go out of my way, I am consciously <laughs> calling people, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, yes, this, because I understand what I, I just, I, I'm hyper aware of my words. And for, for somebody to go and say something like that to me after we've already given the pass for her, 
several times. And this is the argument. Now, if I went and said something along those lines to somebody else for another reason, and I doubled down and I tripled down and I quadrupled down, I would be expected to be met with the same fate. Especially, I mean, it doesn't even really matter about the hierarchy of the company, to be honest. But the fact that you're saying this to a board member and you're just a contractor and and you're trying to rip off the company and steal from pharma and all I'm trying to do is help you get weed so that you can go make money. It's beyond disrespectful, beyond disrespectful. So I shot her. And then go for it. I'm going to just ask, though, isn't shooting somebody as well against the fucking policy of the company, though? Like, should we handle this differently with people who are acting like that? Basically call up the HR and get into a meeting and either fire them or exclude them, you know, from what we're doing? I agree with that, KJ. But like, I understand. Is... Trust me. Like, I'm I'm, I'm not going to... I'm going to say this. If this was me fucking seven years ago, I would have shot her the first time. All right? The first time. Yes, yeah. same with me. Uh, I promise but, you that. But but at the same time, you know, like we're operating differently. She's a contractor with the company. We should fire her, get her ass away from I there and just her. move. The, that's the thing is I fired her. I said, you're done. You're fired. It's over. Because when Why she gave the ultimatum, because I asked her to leave over and over again and she would not leave. And she kept saying these things to me. And I'm at my house in my front yard. And she's saying this stuff. She will not leave. Now, Benji said the reason why she didn't leave is because Benji didn't tell her to leave as well. And that would have been two votes for her to leave. There's, it, it's just, there's a lot, there's just a lot of, of mental gymnastics that are being played. And like, I understand company policy. I, I get it. I truly do. KJ. Yeah. The problem is man, when somebody says something of that stature several times, and it's off the backs of quite literally trying to rob stuff from the company or undercut the company for your own desires. And then you give an ultimatum that if I don't get it at the price that I want, you lose my services and my services are something that you don't want to lose. And then you go and you say this shit again. KJ, I'm human, bro. No, no, no. I, I understand. It's so fucking out I, of fucking pockets. I completely it, understand. So, so it would be nice as if I'm given a little bit of grace for how I handled myself, considering how much I let slide for so long. And, and for, you know, not everything is just black and white all the time. Oh, no, no, no. It's not. Not ocean dumping somebody is against company policy. Oh, ocean dumping right? is against, you know. We, when we came up here to pick up her weed, an individual right, right by the gas station on that road accidentally rear-ended Benji. He immediately got out of the car, pulled his gun, and held him up and robbed all of his weed and everything off him. And the guy basically said, yo, I, 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 sell, I sell for the Cypress guys. And he still <laughs> took all of his shit. Unprovoked. Just gang-related shit. And when I asked Benji about it, he basically <laughs> said, well, it depends who I'm with. So I will do these things depending on who I'm with. And, oh, man. you know, there's just a lot of things that are. When when somebody comes to me, right, even you and you're and you're being very respectful. Yeah. And I appreciate that. When you say these things to me, we can actually have dialogue and have a chat without things getting heated. Yeah. But when things are being... Exactly. But when things are being pointed to me, right, and they're saying you're the problem, whenever you get into some shit, it's on the backs of the company. But whenever I get into some shit, it's not on the backs of the company. Hence, I'm able to do these things and break company protocol because when I do it, there's typically no repercussions. And when... All I've been asking for is that we set guidelines that all of the board members agree within those guidelines and we all abide by those guidelines. And when we all abide by those guidelines, everybody underneath the board members will follow suit. And then when somebody deliberately 
whether it is intentional, accidental, SBS, however, whatever connotation you want to put and those things are broken, then a discussion is had with those individuals. It shouldn't issue matter who having... you are, OTT. It shouldn't matter who it is. It shouldn't matter about if you go against the policy of the company, you should be punished for it. Doesn't matter who you are, doesn't matter what you did, as long as you're not following through and you're doing something against what we're set out to do, that should be a punishment. Easy as that. And everybody should be held accountable for it. Doesn't matter who you are. That's how I look at it. Thank you. And that's how I'm trying to look at it as well. It just so happens that when other people are doing these things, there is no accountability. And if there is accountability, it's like, yeah, there's accountability, but like, I know I can do it. And I'm, I know I'm breaking, I'm breaking rules and it's not fair. KJ took me, or sorry, Benji took me aside and basically said like, we're pretty much going to, we pretty much alluded that like the, the other three board members are going to vote to keep her in the company. And I know it's not fair and all of the, and we, you know, it, it is what it is. Like you're going to get outvoted. And I asked Benji like, well, I don't want to work with her. It, it's, it literally is making me uncomfortable. I don't want to be around her. I, 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 I don't, I don't want to work alongside her after the things she said and the threats that she's made. And he basically said like, yo, like some of us are friends with her. We still, I'm like, I'm like, Benji, bro, you can still go and hang out with her and be friends with her, man. That's totally fine. But like, she's, she's literally trying to sabotage what we're doing. And she's being very blatant, blatant about it to her face. And it's disheartening to know that my fellow board members wouldn't take my, wouldn't, wouldn't take the side of a board member that has been here since day one over somebody that has just kind of came into the fray just not too long ago. And Benji's uh, rebuttal was basically like, well, you know, when this started, you know, you were okay with just sort of being the grinder and being the guy that just kind of like, you knew what this was. And I said, yeah, man, I was okay with that because I knew that people like, you know, and, and JP were not going to be around forever. And my time to basically sub in will be there. I just wanted to fit in. I wanted a new way of life. I didn't want to go back to the gang life. And this was my opportunity. And I took it. And I worked extremely hard to become part of all of this stuff. And he didn't deny any of that. But what he basically told me is like, bro, this, this arrangement isn't fair. This arrangement isn't what you think it is or what you want it to be. We all don't adopt your way of thinking. And he was speaking for all of the other board members that weren't there to speak for themselves. Hence why I'm not going to make the assumption that, that they are going to feel the exact same way that Benji feels unless I hear it directly from them. And mm. I, it just, it really just felt like, and also just to go back when I got shot, there was extreme hesitation. It wasn't until somebody got picked up and somebody started getting escorted to a vehicle where somebody finally got shot. There was, it, it, there was a very, very long delay in which anything happened. Now, for, for some of the other people, I get it. They may not have heard everything that was going on. They didn't, they may not have known, well, what do we do in this situation? Like, uh, I don't know. Like, do we shoot, do we shoot the, the RJ? I, I, you know, he's a bestie. He's, he's part of a group that act, acts, uh, actively robs us and shoots at us. You know, I get, I get some of the confusion. And I yeah. also know that if Sly was there or Cow was there or Z was there or maybe even you, I don't know, that <laughs> defense would have been done for the name of the board member, whether you agreed with it or not, and then a conversation afterwards would have happened. Now, Probably. I'm not overly pressed about them jumping right to shooting RJ. It would have been a nice gesture, but I'm not. I When I'm leaking, I wasn't like, oh, fucking shoot him, shoot him. I didn't ask for assistance. This was something that I did on my own accord. I felt extremely disrespected. I never asked the company to go and shoot RJ. None of that stuff. And from the previous things, the discussions that we've had, we are able to take things to on our own accord and not involve the company if we don't want to involve the company. 
the the money part about this is is she's a fraction of the company where She's a contractor in the company, whether she is new or old or whatever, that's where some of the confusion lies. But I will counter that by saying, what happened when things went down with Raymond and Dundee? Yeah, I don't know and anything about that. I heard, I heard something about it, but... Where, you know, when Benji was all up in arms and fucking ready to roll and fucking doing this, when, when there was a war with Chang Gang that I had nothing to do with, a lot of the, and then we had a big discussion where Benji was like, everything that you have been doing has been causing the company issues. When it came to me holding up Fanny after blatantly saying that we broke our deal, that Mickey told them that there's something about a battle pass and we give them free materials or we're going to keep getting shot and robbed. When that was a blatant lie and Mickey did not say that. And she no. pretty much told us that we were going to continue to do it. I pulled my gun and I held her up. And then when Sly said, no, 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 I put the gun down. I didn't take anything from her. And then when they came for me, I went out like a man and I faced the rain on my own. And it was yeah, a one and done deal. You guys should probably have dipped, you know, to be bluntly honest about looking at from, you know, outside point of view. You know what I mean? But when you're in mm -hmm. the middle of shit, you can, like, you, I can stand here and say A or B or C, you know what I mean? Because you can look at it from a different point of view. But when you're in the middle of shit, you know, it doesn't matter. But, uh, from what I understand what you're telling me and everything, like, you guys need to be accountable for what you're doing uh, compared to what it goes down in the fucking company. And everybody else, like I am, I'm accountable if I do something. If I go against what the company policy is, you will punish me. So you guys should be holding e each other accountable for what you're doing. And try to prevent, like, shit like this as well, you know? If there was, like, a talk with this and the bestest was around or other people... Drag it into room them if it's a discussion. No, don't have people around that shouldn't be around listening into conversation that have nothing to do about. Mm -hmm. Because you said you guys were standing outside there with a lot of people around. She was bluffing off. You know, it should be like either you or Benji should be like, hey, Jan Jan, don't talk about it here. Let's go inside. Let's have a civil conversation. You know what I mean? And I understand this was like blowing out of proportion. So there was no civil to have, you know? Correct. Correct. So, so, so I understand, but it's kind of like we're putting ourselves in fucking dumb fucking situation all the time where we could avoid a lot of stuff, you know, for the future. It's easy for me to stand there and say it right now to you, but I'm not trying to do it as a demeanor of like talking down or anything like that. I'm just like, we need to learn on what the fuck we're doing and move forward, you know, and get something out of it or all this conversation get nowhere. Um, I agree. So, so from my own, like, I understand you're telling your point of view and I, I guess, you know, like every, every fucking discussion have like three sides, you know, it's, it's this side, the other side, and there's something in between, you know, and that's, I mean, this is actually what happened. I'm not embellishing anything. Yeah. 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 No, I, 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 and I believe and I you, try, have, try, trust yeah. me. I'm not saying, saying no or yes or whatever. You know what I mean? But when it comes down to this Raymond and Dundee, I don't know anything about it. So I don't know. I think it's like. You guys four who are at the board need to fucking figure out what the fuck you guys want to do because it and makes I've, our life I've tried that 10 times Kate, easier. I have sat down and tried that and it's almost sometimes like they're afraid to really say something and put it into writing and put it into fruition. Mm -hmm. And I've, I've, I have tried. I'm like, guys, we, are, we should not leave this circle until we're all on the same page. Because the moment that we go to the rest of the company and we are not on the same page, nobody else will be on the same page. Yeah. And I just, all I want is I just want us to be on the same page. And I mm -hmm. would prefer that whenever, listen, I'm going to be honest, man, brutally honest. If somebody disrespects me like that, company policy or not man like on that level like if somebody said oh ott your fucking music's trash or your fucking dog shit or your fucking scum of the earth or your fuck you, you you're a failed gang leader or or whatever dude i let all that shit slide i don't give a fuck bro that 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 that's whatever you know it's sure man but there are certain lines that people ought to have extreme consequences for when they yap and they say certain things. 
And when you continuously push that narrative on somebody and they're extremely uncomfortable and you put them against the wall, it's very, very inconsiderate. And there is very little empathy for an individual if you expect that individual to always be the bigger person and go through a quote unquote company protocol mm -hmm. in the heat of the moment because I am human and I have emotions as yep. does she and as do you. Yep. And do I regret what I've done? No. Do I regret um, having it got that to that place? Yes, I do. The thing is, man, I just, I just want to feel respected by my fellow company men and and women within the yep. group. Not, not. I'm not just talking about board here. I'm. It's right across the board from everybody. As do you. As do everybody else. When I feel like somebody is taking a shot at 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 who I am and putting out that stuff, and it just. I couldn't, I just couldn't sit there anymore and, and just be a punching bag. I couldn't do it. And you know, it, it is, it is what it is. Now, with that being said, have I ever done anything like this before? No, I haven't. I don't fucking go around and shoot, uh, think, uh, company members to shoot company members, but this isn't the first time this has happened within the company. And, and these conversations and the depth of which these conversations have been having since yesterday and, and how heated it's gotten, that was never the case for when these things have happened in the past. But it is when I have done it. Now, I'm totally fine with having a conversation, getting on the same page with people, even having a conversation with, uh, with, with, uh, with Jan and, and letting her know that, hey, I didn't appreciate the stuff you said. You know, I'm sorry it went down the way that it did. It just, it is what it is. Your your boyfriend shot me because I shot you. Fair game. I'm not trying to uh, hate Jan, hunt Jan, look for Jan, hunt her boyfriend, look for her boyfriend, whatever. None of that. None of that is done. Is done. I just want to get back to the fun of the company and get clear away from the drama of the company. Yeah. There seems to be an acceptance of conflict within the company, but a non-acceptance of conflict outside the company. And the shitty thing about it is, is whenever it feels like for me, I can't speak on everybody else, but when it feels like, when I speak up and when I do something, it's gang related and not everything is gang related. I do not. And I'll say this again. I've said it a hundred times. I do not want this to be a gang. I do not want to be in a gang. That is not what I want. All I've been asking for is for respect is for people to work together so that we can advance together quickly, swiftly. And have a sense of accomplishment together as a team opposed to individual accomplishments and have certain people within the company that are uber rich. And then the actual company itself is uber poor. Yeah. But then we need I to wanna... change some of the ways how we're doing stuff. You know what I mean? Like, and I'm, I'm, that goes for everybody because whatever she said is fucking so out of pocket. It's crazy, you know? But then again, like in my mind, you know, like looking at it from the outside point of view, she said what she said. You have a couple of witnesses. You can go to court. You can sue her, you know, for damaging your name. You know, that is one way. It's a company way of looking at it. I don't even well, want to drag that. No, no, no. But I'm, I'm, I'm just on. I'm, I'm, I'm if just this putting was it out there because else, DJ, I promise you, bro. I promise you. We should the never ever would not have been the ocean same. dump. We should never ever draw a gun and shoot somebody who is a part of the company. Whatever, whatever is the reason, you know, we need to find other ways and other solutions to do stuff because that is the way I would have dealt with shit back in the days. You talk fucking smack to me, I fucking smack you up. That is the mentality I've been living under, you know, and that like I've changed so much. I, I don't think you recognize who the fuck I am anymore.
but I feel like when it comes to it, like when it comes to the board, like you said, like one day you can go out there and you can hold up a guy with a gun and rub his shit, kind of like gang vibe. And the next day, kind of like we're going to hold like we need to hold each other accountable for what we're doing and maintain that we're doing it. It's not about not having fun or not doing anything, but in the same procedure, like we need to know what the company do and does not do in the heap of the moment when we are up in certain situations. And that's how right. like. I think from my where I'm standing and then, like I said I'm not trying to shoot any balls to anyone but that's how I see it and that's how I see it when I talk to people as well because I, I think as you as me like I don't want this to be gang we're organized crime yeah we do crime stuff we're involved in shit but we try to take you know the route of a hey, you look down on me it doesn't matter you know what I mean I'd still go and have a meeting you tried to rob me I'd call you up I'd try to have a meeting has that been back in the days I will fucking pick up guns and go and shoot you but mm -hmm. it's a hard thing to do trust me because I feel this way a certain way you know like maybe people don't respect me that more because I'm not fighting back but what I've occurred is like I'm gaining more respect of like going that way and calling them out on the bullshit because they know who we are I agree. And so, uh, I actually, I, I adopt that same philosophy. I have not been going around and robbing people and yeah. doing whatever to do whatever. I did yeah. rob one person with McGregor and um, Martinez. Uh, we robbed a G6 person. Well, actually, we shot them because they, they shot us. But I was doing that on my own accord. And then I was also doing that to build rapport for the Black Ops team so that I could go out there and start bonding with them. Nobody had a problem with that. And that's whatever. And theoretically, that's against company protocol. If we're just really being uh, bluntly honest, yeah. Blunt. Yeah. It's just, it really, uh, like, it, it just, it felt dirty when I was doing it. Um, but at the same time, it well, was exciting. It felt good as well. It's it exciting, felt good. You know exactly. what I mean? Yeah. 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 Exactly. So, like, I get it, man. Like, I, I get it. And, when, when, when you bring up holding everybody accountable, that's what I was trying to do with Benji. But Benji's argument was, well, the reason I understand what I'm doing is wrong and it's against company protocol, but I can get away with doing that because it never brings any backlash onto the company. But yet, once again, there was some stuff that happened between people before there were issues with Chang Gang and a beef and people getting shot before that had nothing to do with me and people are very quick to highlight the two-day war with uh, with manner which i take responsibility for and i thought i handled that the best way that i could after the fact without dragging it on and getting your guys's point of view and i basically was the one that took an l on the chin it wasn't really the company it was really me and that's okay and now i've learned from that and i haven't done that shit again and i have been fucking stabbed robbed shot i've done those things so like i'm trying to i'm trying to be the best version of myself for the company and it's become it it's it's sometimes difficult because whenever there is a quote unquote slip up or something that isn't company like it's mm -hmm. immediately met with this is gang like and not every standing up for yourself and wanting to defend yourself isn't gang like that's just having principles and just being about it and i just want the the board the project managers yourself you yeah. to get together and say what this is don't leave a room until we know exactly what it is and then hold everybody accountable to the things that we set out and I think if we do that, I know me for sure, I would feel a lot better. And then also, I'm going to bring this up because you're one of the higher ups here and I trust your, your judgment. And I'm not, once again, I'm not assuming the worst. I'm not fucking blowing a, a, a gasket or anything like that. But yesterday, when I woke up, I was checking to see what's been going on. We got a new money printer. I was checking to see if there was any uh, washed uh, cash and stuff in Benji's stash so that uh, we, we worked out something where the NA crew would start washing money. Yeah. 
Today, when I woke up, there was a lot of stuff missing from the house. A lot of stuff. A bunch of pony cards, thermites, maybe one RV car. Maybe that died out as well. I'm not 100% sure. Forty-one dollars or $42,000 in cash. And these are just things that I've just noticed. And the reason why I looked is because, I'm, I'm, and I'm just being honest here, I was thinking to myself, well, I'm not going to fuck these guys over because last night, bro, it was heated. It was very heated last night. Yeah, I heard. You know? And I said, you know what? If these guys fuck me over, they fuck me over, but I'm not going to do it to them. It is what it is. Like, I, I don't know how else to defend myself anymore. And I wake up today and there's a shit ton of stuff missing from our house, from HQ. All right. Did it do a heist last night? It sounds like high stuff, though, but the money I, sounds different. I, I, well... The same amount of butt. Well, actually, there's more butt coin in the house. I asked Sly if he had received any money from the HQ house. He didn't know because yeah. uh, he'd have to talk to Z. Z's not awake. And I also checked the uh, the uh, the tablet, and the Maze Bank is going to be available. It should be available now. Okay. And not, none of the butt coin was taken from the house. But somebody has been taking some shit then. So we need to figure a out lot who of that shit. fucking is and see what it goes to. A lot of shit. Because I'll tell you something right now, KJ. Yeah. If that was me and I had taken a bunch of stuff after what ensued yesterday and put it into my apartment or anything, changed the locks on the house, removed people from panels, I did anything that seemed snaky or untrustworthy, it would be very bad but i wake up as a board member who's contributed to this house and there's stuff missing i do not want to assume the worst i'm hoping that i don't know uh, that somebody grabbed something it's on them is whatever they forgot maybe they sold some stuff maybe they did a job and i'm unaware no, but, but it should be an easy way to do it just put down a note what the fuck if nothing, you're taking some shit there was no note or nothing I didn't look for a note, so I can go to the house and I yeah check I if there is anything actually you know? because yeah, if yeah. that's if that's the case then I feel dumb and I and and it is what it is from even bringing it up so no, I will definitely but at go the same time it's no wrong of bringing it up because I I feel like we shouldn't be walking on eggshells when it comes to shit you know what I mean like like when we talk to each other like I need you to feel trusted enough about me that you can speak your mind and I should feel trusted enough about you to speak my mind. And if Correct. that is the case, we cannot do that. Then we're failing, you know, internally. So, Correct. like, because you're bringing this issue up doesn't mean like, oh, yeah. And then we find a note that we, oh, yeah, no, OTT thinks the worst, you know? Like, it should never be like that. It should be like you're looking after everybody. That's what you're doing. So, that should be the main goal of yes. what we're doing. Yes, thank you. People are too so fucking fragile. I will definitely check. Yeah, I mean, I'll check that. And, you know, I just wanted to bring it up to you. I'm not fucking blowing a gasket or losing my mind no, 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 fucking, no, no. you it's know i just want to make it a point that there are things missing and that has never happened before and after yesterday it seems pretty coincidental and i was i even like i was hoping that like i wouldn't be fucked when i woke up today and i'm grateful that i'm not i'm grateful that i can have these conversations i think some of this to be honest is being blown out of proportion i really do um, but with that being said, it's the underlining issue that isn't being blown out of proportion that we need to fix collectively as a board and as a group, mm -hmm. no matter what, no matter how justified I felt in my actions at the yep. end of the day, you know, if you really want to look for it, I was in the wrong, uh, from, from, from shooting a gun from, from a company standpoint. But From I a think company if people... standpoint, shooting the gun is the wrong thing to do. But at the same time, I think everybody who put your put themselves in your position understand why you did it. I don't think that is an issue. Correct. I think everybody understand. But we should avoid that, you know? That's how I look at it. You know, of from course. my from from where I'm standing, I'm like, oh, if we if everything happened yesterday and the gun shit didn't happen, you know, that would be like so much better way for deal as well for you, you know, to move forward with this shit, with this Jan Jan problem. Because 
come on like first time i met her i knew there was issues coming along you know with the shit but i kind of like just played along you know what i mean because i knew how she will operate and what she's trying to do and i kind of like shut it down and move forward and uh, trying to yeah. find other avenues for her you know to feel like she's appreciated and that she she's getting a better price than other people and stuff like that yeah i mean i i i just do want to i do want to say man that like I still don't regret what I did. Um, and I'll be honest, depending on the situation and the temperament and the mood, if somebody pressed me like that again and went at my my soul like that and tried to put something on me that I know is the furthest thing from the truth, I may do mm -hmm. the same thing again. I I'm just being honest. But the thing is, is when it comes to it, somebody in the company, then I know, you know what? Chill the fuck out. Talk to whoever it is that you need to talk to. Run away from the situation if you have to and deal with it that. If they continue to press, they continue to chase, they continue to do that, I'm left with no choice but to do what I need to do for my own soul. Mm -hmm. That's just that's just the way it is, man. And I don't expect anybody, whether it's yourself, Mickey, Benji, fucking uh, Ray Ray, um, any of the, the – anybody in the company that when they are – they are put against uh, the back against the corner and they're really, really being fucking shoot out and they're and stuff. I honestly, I think these things are situational. I really, truly do. But we shouldn't make it a habit of this being a thing. And it isn't a habit. No, it, like, th th this is this was literally a one off thing for me. But it has been a bit of a habit within the company where people are hurting each other and people are holding people up with guns. And people are doing things to each other. And these conversations are rarely happening around those things. And so it makes me feel like it's like I'm the problem and I'm trying to shake that. And I think if we can have a good conversation, I will leave that with the baggage of how I feel like I've been treated in some aspects dead in the water and start new and fresh and not hold anything against anybody. And just kind of move forward and go from there. This is what I want. Yeah. But we need to have like all the four board members and you guys need to talk the fuck it out, man. Like that that's how it should be. And yeah, the problem is, man, like there's never four board members around. This is the issue. Yeah. You're not wrong. It's so tough. Like I was I stayed up until four o'clock in the morning just because like after it all happened i'm like if i go to sleep right now i'm not here to defend myself and i know how the gossip goes man the gossip and flies you know what i mean it always does exactly and it's just like dude if, if 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 i don't stay up and i don't deal with this head on god only knows what i'm gonna wake up to tomorrow yeah but i heard that you guys had like a big meeting last night as well with a lot of people involved Am I correct? Yes. Yeah. Now, how did that meeting? Did it lead to anything, or was it just? Uh, it was Benji and myself yelling, yelling, at each other, yeah, yelling contest between you and Benji, basically. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can and you know, some people. That. Yeah, and some people spoke up. Um. You know, but it was Benji pushing my buttons and me pushing Benji's buttons. That's pretty much what it was. And, and the you... reason why I was combative is because he was basically telling me that, like, you know, you're just pissed off. Because I can do the things that you can't, and and it's because of who you are, and I'm able to break the company protocol and get away with it because it doesn't bring anything back on the company. And I said, Benji, it has nothing to do with you being able to do the things that I can't. It's the simple fact that you choose to continue to do the things that you know is against company policy, and you say it's okay, or you can justify it because it doesn't come back on the company. That's the part that I don't like. When if it's company protocol, it's company protocol. And that's how we should be. The thing is, is we are not like that. We are with picking everything. and choosing. Yeah, we're with picking and choosing like what we want to be upset about, depending on who's involved and how what inconvenient it is you want to for push, the people. Basically. Thank you. Thank you. You're no, no, not no, stupid, like KJ. Bro. No, no, I'm not stupid. Like I, I like like trust me with the and then like 
I, I will push my narrative, you will push yours, Benji will push his, everybody will push their narrative, you know? It's a fucking human being how we are constructed to have a fucking discussion. And uh, everybody is like that, you know? Uh, it's very hard to be objective when it comes to having conversations and doing stuff. But we need to find a middle ground, somewhere, shape or form, if this is going to work, you know? And to be able to have the people who is in the board, you, Mickey, Ray and fucking Benji working together, because right now, and like me and Sly had a talk, and and Sly said something to me that kind of like caught to me, you know. Right now, it's it should be like this. It should be the fucking PMs acting out, and you kind of like putting us straight. But the last fucking two months in the company, it feels like the PMs and me as a GM is keeping it straight, and we need to fucking check you guys who are in the board. It shouldn't be that correct. way. And correct. But when I check Benji. He gets very offensive and he throws it back at me. And I feel like there's only certain people that can actually check him where he will listen and 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 he will he will be more um understanding of the situation. It's it's just tough because like it's 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 almost it's almost like you gotta be a chameleon for certain people. And it's not just a Benji issue. I'm part of the problem too. I own some of my faults. <laughs> but like I really have changed a lot, like to the point where it's it's at times become uncomfortable, like uncomfortably so. But it's when I bring something up, it's oh, you're just being the victim. And then they started victim shaming and blaming me. Like, oh, you're just fuck you, you're just being the victim. Boo hoo, poor you. It's your fucking fault. And it's like, man, like if 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 I can't say what's on my mind. And you can't say what's on your mind without us fucking completely trying to get the one up on each other. We are fucked. We're doomed. Yeah. We, and we need to stop doing that shit. And, and it will stop when we when we are all on the same page and we hold each other to the same level of standards no matter what. Yeah. I can very much agree to that, you know? It shouldn't matter who you are. Same standard for everybody. But at the same time, like, I, I trust me, I, I know certain people can go and do certain things and not have fucking catching a fly. And if I go and do the same shit, I will get the fucking flood, you know, raining down on me. So I know what you're talking about. But when it comes yeah. to it, it's like, we are the company. This is how we operate. This is how we do things. And nobody should be excluded from that, you know? And as long as we keep each other accountable for what we're doing, so we maintain that posture of how we want to be seen because give a fuck about what else the other fuckers are saying you know what i mean it's it's up to us to kind of like go through with what we want to do and if you really want to do it we need to show them we can do it if not you know this is pointless agreed okay well i appreciate your ear anyway um i appreciate you talking to me no no of course it's easy to talk to you um oh <laughs> well, yeah Kinda... Why is that? Because I'm quiet? Because <laughs> no, you're quiet? Hmm? No, it's just, you know. Well, Gucci. It, it, it was good, Perez. Yeah. What's up, Perez? Mickey's awake and he's jogging, and uh, that was an experience. Oh, shit. I don't think I'd ever uh, walk in that oh, house. Oh, shit, Mickey's again. awake? Okay, that's was crazy. he jogging with? Maybe. Uh, he's jogging alone and he's shirtless, so he's probably going to get robbed. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go down and uh, try and get a hold of yeah. Mickey. And kinda, if, if you want me, if there's something going on or whatever, like I can come and be there. I can be quiet as well. But yeah, yeah sure. Just uh, yeah, just tell me, all right? I love you too. All right. All right. Appreciate the talk.